Secure both halves of pivot mount with carriage bolts and nuts. Slide square nuts into channels in mounting plate. Secure pivot mount to mounting plate by threading bolts with flat washers and lock washers into square nuts in channel. Center pivot mount on mounting plate and finger tighten all hardware. At front of trailer, align center point of mounting assembly with center line of box. Measure down 47 to 55 inches from top of end cap and mark holes in top and bottom groove. Drill holes at marked locations. Attach mounting assembly to box wall by turning self-threading bolt to cut threads, then turn back out. Secure using bolts. When possible, use nuts on backside. Next, ensure pivot mount is centered on box, then tighten all hardware. Bolt pivot arm to pivot mount using carriage bolts and nuts. Ensure keyway and pivot shaft is pointed down. Lift arm to vertically align motor and arm. Ensure path of motor and arm is free of obstructions, then lower and tighten carriage bolts. Then slide protective sleeve onto roll tube extension. Leave loose for now. At front of roll tube extension, align grooves and slide cartridge into end of roll tube. Leave loose for now. Use small groove on cartridge as guide and mark 5 inches in from end of cartridge. Then drill hole through first layer of roll tube. Reinsert cartridge into roll tube using hole as guide to drill through cartridge and second layer of roll tube. Insert bolt and secure with nylock nut. Apply grease to motor shaft. Raise arm with motor and insert shaft into cartridge. Align holes in cartridge and shaft, then insert clevis pin and cotter pin. Bend tabs to secure. Then secure with cotter pin. Next align center of protective sleeve to travel over top of wind deflector and secure with Phillips head screw. Then square pivot arm with roll tube by adjusting motor and roll tube forward or backward as needed. Refer to included instructions to install rear return system.